Hello everyone. So today I'm back with the another very interesting interview question. So this is the medium level of interview or the difficulty level. You can see it's a medium. All right. So here we have the transactions table. In the table we have ID, date of the transaction, the value of the transaction, and the purchase ID. Okay. So we have to calculate the month over month percentage change in revenue. Okay. For example, like we have, you know, in the month of January we have revenue of, for example, one lakh. Okay, and uh, in the February we have revenue, uh, for example, fifty thousand. Okay, so the change is fifty percent. Okay, all right. So in the month of March again we have a revenue of one lakh fifty thousand. So we have to calculate the month over month change in a percentage. Okay. so for that we'll have to you know uh, change this column into the month and year and we'll calculate month wise revenue and we'll compare those values with each month okay so whatever the difference would be so we'll compare those that difference into the percentage all right so let's jump into the sql server and write the queries okay so for that first we will convert the created column into month and year we'll change the format so for that we have a format option okay so created at in which format we want we want into uh, year year and month month okay mm okay so here we go so we have this column all right now what we want we want to make a group of every month and uh, we want the value the sum value of every month revenue okay for that we will create a group by and uh, we will put this thing into the group by okay and next we'll use sum in the sum we'll go with the value okay so we have the aggregated values of each month this month this month we have this revenue this month we have this revenue and this month we have this revenue so this made our job very easy okay so let's rename these columns revenue and state all right now now we want to compare this value with the previous value of this column okay for example we want to compare whether this month's value is lesser or higher from the previous one but this value doesn't have to have to be compared because there is no previous value than this okay so we can compare with this one we can compare with this one so for that we have a very beautiful function which is called leg okay and we have lead as well we can also use lead but leg would be very convenient at this point all right so we're going to use leg function and we'll put the revenue inside the leg over clause and we will sort it by the date column order by date all right so now we have another column and we'll compare these columns these two columns with each other okay if we will rename this previous month revenue all right so now what is the next step next step we have to come calculate the difference um, so for that we will again create a uh, another cte cte2 as select from cte2 okay star now for that difference we have uh, to calculate the percentage as well okay so difference and uh, percentage will be calculated through a uh, through this formula which is this we will minus revenue sorry we will minus revenue with the previous year's revenue and will divide with the previous year revenue okay so we got the in the february we got the 28% drop in the revenue 
and in the month of March we got a spike uh, than previous month uh, by 23 percent okay so uh, let's get to change the format cast use we'll use the cast function to get the full value okay to get the decimal values basically okay so the decimal so we're gonna round uh, these values to the uh, second decimal point okay all right all right this looks nice all right so okay so first uh, now we gonna add some percentage values into the column okay not cast we'll use a concat all right so this looking nice so as you can see we have the blank percentage column so what we can do we can put zero here okay so what we can do so this looks nice as you can see the column name i mean this is zero difference and 28 so let's back to the let's make it to the round to the second decimal point r o u n d round all right round to the two decimal points all right so this looks nice as percentage column okay all right so let's uh, reduce some columns cde to dot date cde to dot revenue okay so these are the columns enough so this is our output so the question was kindly calculate the month over month percentage change in revenue so we have generated this output in the month of january we generate this much revenue but in the february if we'll compare from the previous one so we uh, we, we drop by 28.56 percent okay and uh, in the month of march we generated this revenue from the previous month we generated uh, 23.35 percent more revenue okay all right so uh, let's uh, concat this looks nice okay so now they are the meaningful values what they represent all right all right guys hope you have learned something and if you have any question just please let me know and uh, if you have any query so you can put in the comment box all right guys thank you so much for your time good day